Hey Leo, welcome to your general love read. This week is the December forecast for love, sex, and emotions. Okay, so this is a look at you and your person, kind of side by side here. What's going on with the connection, with the emotions, with your bond. Um, looking towards the December energy that's coming in at this current moment. This is timeless, so whenever you find it, if it resonates for you, that is when it was meant for you. Um, as well, uh, I feel like it's already starting to come to me. For somebody, there is someone with a placement of Sagittarius or fire energy. Um, very passionate, okay, coming in here. So... Let's just get started. Down below in the description box will be the link for the extended. And um, it's over on Patreon, okay? So, Leo. Okay, Leo, as you move into the month, you're going through a big transition here, okay? With the death card, letting go of things, um, releasing the old, coming into the new. And it may be something that you're fighting through, okay? With the Seven of Swords, I do feel like the transition, okay, will be finished by the end of the month with the Ace of Swords, and you will see things with more clarity. All right, this person, okay, things are to pause with them at the beginning of the month here with the hangman, okay. Hold on, they're telling me to look closer here. Okay, I feel like this person is really sad and really beaten by this, okay. They are coming towards you slowly. Okay, through the middle of the month here, I feel like their energy with the chariot will speed up towards you. Okay, by the end, that could be the clarity, them coming forward to you. Okay, so let's see here. Yeah, this has not been an easy transition for you. Okay. Five of Wands, Ten of Swords with the Queen of Pentacles. Um, this could be, okay, fighting against a lot of old residual sadness, okay, about foundations, perhaps about, you know, the Divine Feminine not showing, okay, their truth, um, not nurturing to their fullest ability because this queen of pentacles is wearing a mask. Okay, this person here, they are trying to manifest this, okay? But it's almost like, because we also get the magician with judgment and the nine of, the nine of wands, There's a part of them that's afraid to manifest this, okay? There's a part of them that's not even sure what they're manifesting to begin with because they may not even know, like, what it is that they fully want from you. They just know that they want you, okay? Okay, again, you're fighting through, okay, this transition. King of Swords with the Queen of Wands, okay? You see this person is passionate. 
you see this person as strong, okay, you're willing to fight the fight for them. Ten of Cups, okay? They are that everything for you. Again, this person is moving towards you because Two of Cups, okay? They recognize that there is a soul connection here. But with the Queen of Cups in reverse and the Six of Wands, okay, I feel like the reason that they are so slow, okay, coming forward is because they don't want to do the work. They want you to do the work. Like, they're like, I want the victory, but I don't want to have to be the one to come in and, you know, tell you how I feel. I want you to tell me how you feel, okay? Bottom of the deck, okay, what's unknown is you probably have been um, emotionally separate from this person. You may not know because they've been hiding their feelings how they feel. Okay, end of the month clarity here. Okay, you may realize that you had to go through this broken heart to gain the knowledge. Three of Swords, okay, with the Seven of Pentacles. To gain this knowledge, this truth, you had to go through all of this, all right? To recognize what it is that you want here with the star and get over the old paradigms of connection and commitment. Okay, this person, again, I feel like coming towards you quickly, their energy, all right, at the end of the month, all right, Queen of Swords, they've gone through their own little transformation and they're like, am I cutting my heart out? Because nine of cups in reverse. Okay, they're starting to try to release this. Even though it's not what they want. Three of cups. Okay. What they want is you. But there's this feeling of if you don't come forward to me, then what use is it? Okay. Okay. So let's go ahead and get some feelings here, Leo. Yeah, you do have a very intense passion, intense chemistry with this person. I feel like, um, you know, you're very impatient about getting through this, um, getting to the other side of this. Yeah, this person, they're curious. They want to know again, how do you feel? Um, what do you want from me? Okay, they may be a little bit embarrassed, perhaps about the way things have been with the two of you. And that could be why they don't want to be the one to step forward, okay? Oh, let's look deeper. There's an illumination that you have here, right? Again, we've got the King of Swords here. That this is worth fighting for. Knight of Wands, okay? I feel like if you could, you would go back to the beginning and play it out differently. Okay? Because we do have King of Wands here. 
you want to take the action. You are very passionate. I mean, very, very passionate towards this person. Okay, and this person, I mean, they're definitely your counterpart, okay? <laughs> Queen of Wands, they've been holding themselves back, not allowing the intimacy with you, right? Until you come forward. Because we also have, all right, the Queen of Swords, where they're like, give me what I want, okay? There's this internal war with your person here about, you know, they know how they feel about you. They think they know how you feel about them. But it's this internal, like, weight, this waiting game, okay, of... How long do I have to wait for you to come forward to me? Okay. Um, that may be some of this illumination that you needed to hear. Because it could be that you two are just both waiting around, right? Waiting for the other one to make the move. Yeah, all right, Ten of Cups here, clarified by Two of Cups and the Sun. This is your person. This person does make you happy. But you guys have to end this cycle of, um, like, the, the go-round here, okay? Start anew. Start anew by coming forward. Because this person, all right, they will withhold that love until they get their way. All right. Knight of Pentacles. All right. This person, slow, 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 slow. They would rather stay in the cold, okay, because they know that this is a divine counterpart connection, and they are refusing to chase you. I also feel like they are not, I feel like they are sometimes a little bit running away, but I feel like this may have been, this person may have been the chaser in the past, and now they're like, no, you need to bring me this truth. You need to come with me, to me with this Ace of Swords. You need to show me how you feel if you really want me, okay? I need to hear it from you. end of the month, you come into this truth, right? Okay. What I've been do doing here, six of pentacles, okay, old paradigm has not been balancing. If this is what I want, I need to approach this differently, even if I'm scared, okay? Even if I'm fearful of rejection, Okay, either I'm going to get my wish, I'm going to get my dream, or I'm going to get my broken heart. Right? Those are the two choices. We've got two of swords here. Dream or broken heart. And I feel like that's the, you know, epiphany here, is that you're recognizing that the only way you're going to find out is to find out. Okay? This person, three of cups. Yeah. They're on the verge, okay, of not being able to contain themselves for much longer 
wanting to make you an offer, um, but waiting and watching, you know, are you going to come first? Because this is something that they really, really want. And I do feel like, okay, they have seen the work that you've put in on yourself. They perhaps also have seen maybe that you are very busy, okay? And, and they're like, okay, maybe you don't have time to come to me, right? Um, but emotionally, Eight of Pentacles, okay, this person, they're like, I'm just on the ride with you. Okay, I'm on the ride with you in these emotions. I will work on you with this if you are ready. Okay, and so they're just, they're like, just come, just tell me, let's celebrate. Enough already, okay? Yeah, make the effort, okay? You need to allow yourself to tell this person how you feel because they're losing their faith in this okay they've been trusting this situation but the way that it came out okay they're losing their faith in trusting this as actually ever happening okay so i'm going to move into that extended i'm going to pull out some additional intentions and then go through it the way that I do my personal read. So I'm taking all of the energy from this and I will turn it into a personal read. It's pretty much the closest to a personal read that you can get with me if this resonated for you without booking with me. If you do want to book with me, that link is also down below. Okay? So you guys have a beautiful, beautiful um, Thanksgiving day. If you're here in the U.S., I hope that... Uh, you're able to get online and talk to family and friends that you would have seen otherwise. Be safe out there. Be kind to each other. And um, I will see you next week. Okay, bye.